Okay, I did the most random thing ever. When I was in Toronto, which is now six months ago, I found this, this exit sign on the streets. It was laying on the floor, it was dirty, it was covered in mud, it was off the wall, it was not working anymore, and I was like, I can actually use that for one of my photo shoots. And the cool thing is about this thing is that I can open it up and put a light in it. And that way we can lit this thing up and it gives us this nice red glow. This would be so sick for a concept shoot. I think so too. So what I did is I brought this sign from Toronto to Los Angeles. That definitely did not go without a hassle because I needed to make space in my suitcase because this thing is so big. So my suitcase was overweight. I was on the airport throwing out stuff and even throw out my blow dryer, but that's okay. Because now we have this thing. <laughs> and then we went from Los Angeles to Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, you can guess. I took this thing with me. When I was in Australia, I was like, Oh, I really want to do a shoot with it, but it needs to be perfect because I was already going through so much effort just to bring this thing with me. I did not end up doing a shoot. So I flew from Melbourne, Australia to Amsterdam, Netherlands, where we are right now. Oh yeah, I need to that. Yep. So this thing almost made a 360 around our globe, but now it's here and it's time to plan a photo shoot with it. I went through a lot of effort for this piece of plastic. So I hope it's gonna be worth it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna photograph my sister. I haven't seen her in ages, so I'm very excited to do a little photo shoot with her again. But our exit sign is not the only light we're gonna be using on a shoot. And that's because we're gonna be shooting in a very dark environment. I have two very powerful lights with me. I'm sure you didn't expect them to be this tiny, but these lights are from Sijun Tech. They give you such a large amount of lighting, it's insane. So first off, we're gonna be using the Molus X100, and it literally looks like it's something from a computer. I've actually used it on my previous video, which was an editing tutorial. If you scroll back to that one, you'll see that it's just such nice lighting, and that's thanks to this little guy over here. And then the other light I'm gonna be using is the Molus G60. And it's a little cube. It looks like a little projector actually. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to the location. This is the car scrap yard where I filmed my first ever YouTube videos. And what we're gonna do today is gonna be a very industrial grungy vibe. So I was like, this is the perfect location. Why not shoot here again? And what I like about shooting in dark environments is that you can use external lighting. And that allows us to control where the light is coming from. And we're not depending on daylight or sunrise or sunset or whatever. We're in control of the lighting. And I find that challenging, but also so much fun. So for the first spot, I spotted this very old looking car in the corner of the room. And when I looked above me, there was this extra level with a fence. And I was like, if I get on top of that thing, I can point the light down onto the car. So I'm gonna take the X100 and I'm gonna point it like so. And then I want Yulia to be standing over there, leaning over the back of the car. And that way we create this nice direct lighting. And then I decided to place the exit sign in the back of the car and that way it radiates this nice red glow through the window onto our model. So the camera I'm shooting with is the Canon R6 and I'm photographing with the Sigma, 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 yeah. And I'm photographing with the Sigma 35mm f1.4. Then we went on to the next spot and that is in between all these stacked up cars. I really wanted to get a shot of Yulia sitting in a driver's seat with her being backlit by one of the lights. So I placed the X100 behind Yulia to create this nice backlighting effect. It looks like that meme with the cat. <laughs> And I decided to use the diffusing dome again to create this natural diffused look. And then I used the Molus G60 to fill up the shadows in her face. And what really helps 
by finding the right position for your lighting is just by moving around seeing what it does to the shadows and if I like how the lighting is looking on her face I'm just going to position the light at that exact spot and when it came down to diffusing the lighting I used this little dome diffuser to create a very natural look to her face because I feel like if I wasn't using any way of diffusing the light it would be way too harsh on her face what I absolutely love when you're backlighting your model is to add atmospheric spray and this is fake haze you can add in your shots so I decided to spray it in the car and especially when you're using lights and then backlighting your model with atmospheric spray yes chef's kiss I would definitely recommend you giving it a try I paid 16 euros for this little thing and it creates such a cool look in your photo so it's worth every penny euro Ja, mooi, So a little tip from me to you, something that can help you out on your shoots when you're using lighting is that I want a backlight. So some form of light that's backlighting my model because that way it creates this nice glow around her and a fill light and with that light you fill in the shadows in the face so when i use two lights i like to use that setup i really wanted to get some shots at that workbench because it has this nice sort of vintage grungy feel to it a lot going on in the photo which i love so when it came down to lighting i positioned the molus x100 on the right side of the photo and that way we also lit up all the tools and all the little boxes in the background and then i used the molus g60 and pointed it from above so I sort of hanged it up somewhere and that way we also lit up Yulia a bit more and we separated her from the background because sometimes when you're shooting in a dark environment and your model isn't very lit well your model sort of disappears in the whole photo and by using a light you can really separate your model from the background and then I grabbed some tape and duct taped the exit sign beside her so it still gave us this nice red glow on her face and her hair So before all this shooting started, I was thinking about the shots I really wanted to get. And this workbench shot was one of them. And they turned out exactly how I imagined. That makes photography so addictive. And these are all the shots we got. I am so, so, so happy with how they turned out. It's exactly the sort of style I had in mind for this little exit sign logo shoot. I'm so happy I got to use it now. So now I'm just going to pick a nice spot for it in my room as a nice memorable for all the hassle we went through to get this thing from Canada to the Netherlands and as you've seen from the title light changes everything and you've probably seen this in the shoot as well if we didn't have any lighting then this shoot just wouldn't work out these little tiny guys helped me out so much by creating my vision on this photo shoot so i would definitely recommend checking out sijun tag if you're looking for a game changer in your photography because lighting changes everything i linked everything in the description down here also not to forget when it came down to editing i went for this grungy feel to the photo so i felt like minty colored highlights blue shadows worked very well for this location and then to add to the cinematic feel i added a little bit of grain on my photos but if you have any more questions about this photo shoot or my editing process just ask them down below 
So yeah, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and it just felt so good to finally create an idea that I've had in mind for ages and I hope I sort of inspired you to do the same. So if you have any ideas or things you're like, oh, I really want to shoot that or ask this model to go shoot with me or whatever, just do it. Because honestly, it feels so good once you've finally brought your idea to life. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei. I swear I'm going to break my lens at some point because I'm wearing like a lot of rings and once I like tap my camera yeah it's gonna break at some point and you're gonna be there for it so yeah <laughs>